Hey everybody, welcome back. I want to thank you all for putting up with a lot of my videos that uh, haven't had me talking in it. I don't know, maybe you like that and prefer that. Um, but I've been sick with the flu the past couple weeks. Uh, cough, congestion, the works. It is flu season where I'm at. So it just worked out better to not uh, record any audio. So, uh, and I was, you know, doing the doing the series on unique weapons and it didn't really require uh, audio. I want to keep them just short and sweet. Uh, just show you guys what the effects were and how they performed in the slaughter shaft and stuff, but I'll have some more videos coming like normal that have audio and such. So thank you for putting up with my sickness. I'm better now. Um, although I still do have a bit of a cough. So if my audio for this video seems heavily edited, it's cause I'm editing out coughs as I record this. So I've been doing a lot of farming. Uh, a lot of people have because of the mayhem Twitch event, which has been extended. So anointed drop rates for legendaries and all weapons have just been increased massively. Um, unfortunately, the latest hotfix, if you don't know, um, I think it was last week's hotfix or the week before that, a couple weeks ago, for some reason nerfed uh, a bit the anointed drop rates, even though they said they were going to extend it. It hasn't been as, as good. Uh, some people have done some research, looked at the values, and it looks like the rates just haven't been quite as good as Mayhem Twitch week. And if you've been playing just yourself, you may have noticed this. Of course, it's always hard to verify because RNG is just RNG. You could just be getting unlucky, but enough people seem to have been encountering the same things. And like I said, some people have done some research into the actual files, data and stuff to where it seems to support it. But at any rate, i um, doing a lot of farming. A lot of people have, and I want to share with you guys my favorite, uh, method lately to farm. Um, I mean, you have Grave Ward, of course, you have Captain Tront and such, General Tront, those are always, you know, big hot spots and stuff. You can, of course, do offline, but you're not going to be getting the uh, increase in anointed drop rates. But farming Grave Ward, for me, it just kind of gets boring after a while, and more importantly, he just seems to drop the same stuff for me. I don't know, you know, I don't think he has a specific loot pool, it's supposed to be world drop. RNG is RNG for myself. I tend to get a more diverse set of weapons if I farm other places. In particular, for me, it's Slaughter Shaft. Slaughter Shaft Mayhem 3 is a great place to find legendaries. You've got so many badasses around. With the Haunted Events, um, the loot, they increased the uh, drop rates from loot ghosts as well. Badass ghosts drop legendaries as well, at least have a chance to. So you have an enemy that can drop it, and then most badasses in the slaughter shaft have a, they're haunted and they have a badass ghost that comes out. So you have a chance for the enemy to drop the legendary and then the badass ghost to drop the legendary. So kind of two for one. And what I do here, which I want to share with you guys, I just do the first round. It's the first two to three waves um, of slaughter shaft, which constitutes round one. For me, drop the most legendaries out of all the other rounds. Rather than just going through and doing all the rounds and just seeing how many you can get, I just do round one. One of the reasons I do this is because it's quick and easy. The more you do it, the more you just kind of memorize where the enemies come out at and how many enemies there are. And just for whatever reason, and I've seen some other people posting about this too, so I don't think it's just me. The first few waves of slaughter shaft seem to have a disproportionate chance to drop the legendaries versus other rounds so that's another reason why i tend to do this all you have to do is have your most powerful build for mobbing that you like to use there's a lot of them out there i main amara and for myself i like to use a phase grasp ties that bind build where i spec heavily down the fist of the elements and then i also go down mystical assault and i just kind of leave uh, the brawl skill tree kind of empty and then I spec down into the Ricochet ability and Fist of the Elements as well as the skill that gives you health back as you cause elemental damage. Then I equip some things like a Phase Zerker class mod which buffs, uh, for me it buffs Jacob's critical uh, weapon damage. And then I equip a bunch of Rowan's calls that I have and I just go through Phase Grass enemies and get insane amounts of Ricochet effect from that as well as critical hit damage and as long as you're dealing damage to an enemy you pretty much are unkillable as long as they're Phase Grass and you're currently shooting them you're just unkillable because you're getting so much Ricochet and so much elemental damage that every bit of elemental damage you do is just refilling your health. So for me this is probably the most powerful build that I use for Amara or at least one of the easiest. Um, for mobbing, especially the slaughter shaft and just how it sets up and everything. So I like to use this one. And then what I do, I find a favorable uh, mayhem multiplier uh, for this. You know, something that's going to buff for me. It's like assault rifles, elemental damage, all that good stuff like what I have here. And then I go through, do a couple rounds, uh, get the legendaries to drop. And then the reason why I complete one round versus just like one or two ways is because in order to get out of the slaughter shaft and reset it, you'd have to quit out. And doing that will reset the mayhem modifier. Uh, stuff that you have 
That gets really tedious. I don't like to do that. I like to keep the same one I have rather than quitting out and then trying to find one that's favorable. So I just complete round one. And then all you got to do is exit the map. So I just go to Conrad's hole here and then or hold. And then I come back. And when you travel like that in between maps without fast traveling, your mayhem modifiers stay the same. So you don't have to keep, you know, quitting out and joining until you find one that's good. So once again, you know, farming, it's all about being efficient and as fast as possible. Otherwise, if it takes forever to do something, then you probably go back to Grave Ward because he's just so easy to do. So I just leave, come back in, it resets it. I'm able to just, you know, grab some ammo if need be, make any changes I might want. And then I just go in and start the next round and just do it again, rinse and repeat. And like I said, I just find that this method drops a more wide variety of weapons. I mean, I farm Grave Ward. I just kind of get the same things every once in a while. Then I'll get something new and different. It's like, ooh, that's great. But, you know, he often doesn't even drop legendaries or he'll drop like one because his rates have been, you know, nerfed since, you know, like the first week. So here I can get, you know, anywhere between two, three, sometimes six, you know, legendaries. And like I was doing this yesterday, oh, for a couple, maybe just an hour, hour and a half, I think. And I had like three shredder fires. Uh, some infinity pistols that drop. I mean, just stuff that Grave Ward never drops for me. So, and I've been doing this for the past probably like week or so. And I love it. And you get lots of good anointed stuff as well with the legendaries. And I just find it a bit more engaging and fun. You know, you can you can do a really powerful build. Or what I've done too is as I'm testing out different builds, I always like to put them through the slaughter shaft at least the first couple waves or first rounds in order to see how they stack up. And when you do that, you inevitably get legendaries that drop too. So you can kind of kill two birds with one stone as well and just stay a bit more engaged and I find it a bit more, you know, fun and interesting, a little different than just uh, jumping down and crit swapping and killing Grave Ward or doing General Tront or uh, Captain Tront. So I just want to share this with you guys because it's a quick and easy way to, to farm if you can get a powerful enough build to where you can, you know, kind of go through the slaughter shaft pretty quickly. Uh, there's a lot of builds out there you can find on YouTube and such or you can just if you want to kind of copy what I have here I've thrown it up on the screen You can kind of see a bit of what my gear and stuff is and I've just kind of talked to my I've talked you through it a bit too If you just want to copy it and it just gives you something different if you've been farming grave ward or doing some other things And you're just getting a bit bored and tired of the grind uh, Here's a good way you can kind of switch it up as well as like I said You can kind of kill two birds with one stone if you want to test out different builds with slaughter shaft You can do that and you kind of just have some fun test out the legendaries that might drop and uh, while you're doing all that, you get the, the legendaries uh, in the process as well. So that'll wrap up this one, guys. If you have any uh, cool, unique ways that you like to farm for legendaries, maybe they're a bit off meta, definitely let me know in the comments below. I'm always looking for new ways to farm for legendaries. Something that maybe just doesn't involve you sitting there pushing a button or, you know, something is boring as farming Grave Ward. Uh, always looking for new ways like that. So let me know if you have any of those. If you like this or found it useful, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash that like button. It really helps me out and the channel as I'm trying to grow it here. And if you are interested in more videos, of course, hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell icon because I've got more Borderlands 3 videos coming out. Again, thank you all for your support and I will see you in the next installment.